Welcome to the second in the series on the effects of drugs. The next drug we're going to cover is alcohol. Before I even start talking about alcohol, the very first thing I want to do is define it. The simplicity of it is, is that alcohol is actually dead, rotted food. In other words, they take a big barrel, they dump some kind of food in it, like grapes for wine, barley for beer, potatoes for vodka. They add water and then they mash it all up. They'll cook that for a little while, and then after it's cooked, they let it sit there. Then they let it sit there a little while longer. Then they let it sit there a little while longer until all the food in the barrel begins to rot. If you look at it, that is why alcohol is actually a poison, and that is why it affects the body the way it does. The biggest effect of alcohol in the body is on the liver. The liver is important for a number of different reasons, but mainly your liver prevents the poisons from entering your body. In other words, it handles toxins and poisons that enter the body. Alcohol is a poison, and if you drink more than one 12 ounce beer in an hour, the liver cannot handle that poison. If you drink more than one six ounce glass of wine, same thing, liver cannot handle it. Here are the short term side effects of alcohol. Number one, headaches. Number two, impaired judgment. Number three, unconsciousness. And number four, coma. Here are the long-term effects of alcohol. Alcohol poisoning, liver damage, nerve damage, permanent damage to the brain. Those are the short-term and long-term effects of alcohol. Obviously, once again, we're all going to make our own decisions, but keep those in mind when you go to make that decision whether to use or not. Thank you very, very much for listening, and don't miss our next in the series, which is the effects of methamphetamine.